we've done really well getting this far. It's been a, a little bit unexpected really. We're a new management team as well. With the cup run, we've just scored a load of goals. I think we scored 22 before today in the five games. Um, and as, as we've progressed through, we've thought, can we win it? Can we really win this thing? First off, uh, Manchester put us under serious pressure. Their ball retention was really good. Um, when we did get it, we gave it away too bad. You know, really sloppy areas. And to be fair, on the, the base of play, we were lucky to get away with a nil-nil at halftime. Was it a penalty? I don't know. Um, but the ref's given it. We have to get on with it. And that stunned us for ten minutes. There was a, a mix-up in the, the six-yard box and I think the keeper and the full-back left it to each other and neither did anything and the balls ended up in the back of the net. They were really going for us and we were like rabbits in the headlights for 10-15 minutes there. Again, we haven't cleared our lines, the ball's been whipped across lovely, back of the net. But we were confident if we could get one back, we could definitely get two and possibly three. We've managed to fashion a chance. Josh has been in the right place just to just to get on the end of a ball that the keepers may could have done a bit better with. The ball come across from the, the right hand side and we've we've managed to turn it into the box. And again Brad as he's done all season, he's been in the right place at the right time. And I think he stuck it away from two or three yards a game. After we got the second goal, we, we thought we got a chance definitely to get a third goal because their confidence dipped and we pushed and we pushed. We've stuck it home and then obviously the lineup puts his flag up and we're thinking, is it going to be our day or not? And luckily I think the guy hasn't touched the ball as it's gone through and the ref's given a goal. And, and that was injury time and I think from then on at 3 all, it was really only one team that was going to win it. Extra time, we've again put them under pressure down the wings, we've, we've crossed it into the box. And Lee, the skipper's managed to get his head on it and, and hopefully send us back over the cup, 4-3. Then we've had another contentious penalty decision. And uh, it goes back to 4 all. range of emotions you go through in a game like that when you're 3-0 down with 25 minutes to go and, and then pull it back to 3 all, then think you've won it an extra time and then they come back again and you go to penalties it's just very draining and uh, obviously that, that gets replaced with, with, with elation um, as it starts to sink in what, what you've achieved for, especially for a small county like Bedfordshire. I was actually quite confident by the time we got to penalties because our goalkeeper is unbelievable.
fantastic game of football for the boys to play in a in a in a national final, a game at this at this stage, and to be able to perform in the way they did is just absolutely fantastic credit to them. Um, and also, the FA should be proud of both counties today in, in terms of how both teams performed, dug in, kept working. Both sides, I think, tried tried the right way. Uh, the game was played in a good spirit. Fantastic advert, really, for this competition.